Among the several Bandai Namco anime-esque original franchises, there's one I don't see talked about very often. Scarlet Nexus has gotten a lot of love in the past few months with three DLC packs and being a recent release. Tails has kind of made it big, with the rise being the fastest selling entry in the franchise, and Code Vein even gets fanfare for its amazing character creator and lightly seasoned Souls-like gameplay. God Eater, on the other hand, sits on a weird spot. So, welcome to this new series of videos where I go through every entry of the mainline God Eater games and talk about the series as it celebrates its 12th anniversary. So to answer the big question, God Eater is a game where you hunt monsters to farm their parts and craft new weapons. Sound familiar? Well, yeah. A certain acclaimed series made by Capcom follows the same concept and has slowly and impressively crept its way up to the mainstream. So you could chalk up part of the reason no one talks about God Eater to its competitor beating it out of the competition. But at the same time, there's a large number of reasons that I personally think contribute to why a lot of people haven't even heard of God Eater, and I'll get into that in a different video. The differences between these games are almost night and day outside of concept. Monster Hunter focuses on you landing these strong attacks with giant weapons, these attacks leave you open and force you to be more calculated in your approach. Every weapon has moves which leave you open to more punishment. God Eater pushes a faster approach. They give you a close range weapon, a gun, and a shield all built into, into a single mechanism. The name of the game here is still about hitting your opponent in the right place, but everything's faster and attacks are flashier. Honestly, I find it difficult to pin these two games against each other because while their concepts are similar, they really are two different games. God Eater also pushes a stronger focus on characters and narrative compared to Monster Hunter. While not the whole focus, it does give you the incentive to push ahead in the game. So now you might be asking, where do we start with all this? Well, there are roughly two ways to start God Eater from square one. For one, you can start with the most updated release of the first game, God Eater Resurrection. Resurrection is the third time the first game has been released, Though worldwide, it's the second time, which I'll get into when I talk about Resurrection. It's available on Steam, PlayStation 4, and PS Vita. However, you can only obtain it by purchasing God Eater 2 Rage Burst on these platforms. These games should go for relatively little cost as they are nearing 6 years old in worldwide release age. You can technically start from 2 if you want, but there's nothing that should be motivating you to do so. There will be spoilers from 1 within 2's main campaign, so I recommend you take that into account. You can also start from the anime, which follows an original character who takes the place of your main character. While a lot of events in this are not canon to the main plot, it is one way to get into the series. This single season is available on Netflix, Crunchyroll, and Funimation, though your mileage may vary based on the location you're in. And there isn't going to be a season 2. This came out in like 2015, which is almost 7 years ago. You can also start from the OVA on Bandai Namco's channel, which I will link in the description below. Finally, you can technically start from God Eater 3. God Eater 3's story is mostly free of spoilers from the previous games up until the post-game. It tells a story wholly separated from the first two games in terms of characters and their motivations. This game is available on Steam, PS4, and a Nintendo Switch. And that wraps up exactly what God Eater is and how to get into it. Thank you for watching, and let me know what you think of the God Eater series. Are you interested in trying it out? Have you played it already and loved it? Or maybe you're not really into it as much, maybe there's something you don't find appealing about it. And let me know in the comments. Perhaps my covering of this has piqued your interest in the series, and I hope you stay tuned to see more about the God Eater games. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel to see when future God Eater videos go live. Alright, see you guys next week.